Hello, hello. So I have created a RAID array with the motherboard's so-called RAID controller, the Intel RST, Rapid Storage, storage Technology. And I use UEFI and I don't use any legacy mode or anything, I just use UEFI only. I created a RAID array with that and I used these two 160 gigabyte disks. And here's the thing, uh, when I was running Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, uh, Ubuntu discovered the disks separately like this, but it didn't discover the RAID array. So you couldn't do anything with this RAID drive. But right now I am on Arch Linux and Arch actually discovered the RAID array. I tried this on uh, Pop OS as well and this array shows up in Pop OS. And here's the kind of weird thing. Uh, Pop OS is based on Ubuntu. So why does the array show up in Pop OS but not on the regular Ubuntu? kind of weird but uh, yeah I used to have Windows 10 installed on this drive uh, because there are some software that works better on Windows sure you can run a virtual machine but sometimes I want to run on stuff on real hardware but right now I'm actually going to use this in Linux instead and I have a third SSD an 80 gigabyte version of these drives. So I will install uh, Windows 10 on that SSD and then the, the, the few software that I actually use on there. Uh, these drives are really slow. The, these are really old. These are SATA 2 uh, drives or SSDs. So the uh, read speed are like 250 megabytes per second maximum. Write speed is about 100 megabytes. So that's why I run them. They are kind of small as well. So that's why I run them in a RAID array. But yeah, this actually works. So you can't really do anything with this RAID array. But this is actually the uh, RAID drive. And you can uh, format it and whatever you want. Create partitions. And yeah, that's exactly what I did. So let's see if I go to my virtual machines here. Copy copy this one. And this is the uh, in Nemo. Shows up like that and I can just paste it in here. And yeah, it works really well. And it also uh, made it so that it will automatically mount when I start the computer. And you can see it, it's going down. It's, it seems that it writes to memory first, to RAM, and then to the drives. So you will see the write speed here will go down. And as I said, these are SATA 2 drives and the maximum write speed to them are like 100 megs. But they are in a RAID array right now, so it's a little bit faster, but you can see it's decent. Two sixty max to yeah well, the maximum about two fifty megs write speed. So yeah, it's super nice that it actually works. So yeah, it's still writing, but uh, I see the LED on my computer is still writing, but yeah, there it's done. So let's see if I copy this back to uh, just home. And my home drive is an NVMe drive. So yeah, it's a little bit faster read speeds. So 420 read and about 250 write. But I'm only going to use this uh, drive for virtual machines. So it's only going to read from that, basically. Uh, 
Yeah, stop that. Well, it works. So yeah, finally, if you have a raid array with uh, the uh, motherboard's controller, uh, it actually works in Arch and on Pop OS. I only tried the three distributions of Linux, and that's Ubuntu, Pop OS, and Arch Linux. And this works on Arch and Pop OS, but not on regular Ubuntu. It is weird, but yay for for it to work finally. So yeah, a little video about that. So catch you later.